I've been trying to paint clouds ever since I was in my teens. And although I went to art school for five years, I had to find out most of it myself. There are quite a few things I wish I had known back then. For example, how do you start a cloud painting? The paint your clouds with a cloth technique works best on a very smooth panel, like this 6mm MDF board. You can use this technique on canvas or paper as well, but you won't get the same results. It's a technique that lends itself perfectly to working outdoors. You will have quick results and you can finish your painting in the studio later. Here we go. Because the board is so smooth, removing the paint is really easy. You may want to change your old paint cloth for a new and softer one though. You can create shadows by removing less paint. Some of you may know that one of my favorite tools is my thumb. I'm smoothing out all too obvious marks from my paint cloth. In a later stage I will finish the painting by adding transparent layers and a smooth bottom layer will help. When the first layer is dry, you can add the transparent layers I mentioned. You are now entering the glazing phase. If you want to find more about that, you could consider downloading my 60 minutes painting clouds tutorial. Click the info button in the upper right part of your screen to go directly to the video page of my website. Like the previous one, this technique is also great for painting outdoors. I prefer it over the painting with the cloth technique when I'm working on paper. It's harder to wipe off the blue paint from a paper surface. Clouds have a habit of constantly changing, pretty annoying to be honest, so you want to do a quick impression and this is the way to do just that. If you want to learn more about this technique, check the 4 minutes YouTube video I did on the subject. It's called, surprise, Painting Clouds Using the Wet on Wet Technique. The first two ways to start a cloud painting are for artists in a hurry. This one works best when you have the time and know exactly what you want. I use it for my larger paintings and only when the clouds cover most of the surface of the painting. I focus on drawing the edges of the cloud. Details will only get lost under the first layer of paint. I did a full-length tutorial of the process that led to this painting. You can download it on my website. Click the info button if you're interested.
This is the technique I use for painting with free floating clouds in a blue sky. The first layer, of course, is the blue of the sky, with its light to dark gradients, often in more than one layer and painted in the course of several days. I wait until it's dry and with modern mediums like liquid, that means the next day, before I start with the clouds. The first draft of the clouds is in a transparent violet grey, which means that the blue of the sky is shining through. As a result, there is an immediate unity between the clouds and their blue background. Want to find out how this painting was done? Check out my YouTube video Painting Clouds Using the Dry Brush Technique. Hope you enjoyed this video. Want me to keep you posted on new clips? Click the subscribe button. See you next time. Until then, keep painting.